Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. And I think to myself, what a wonderful So today's video is going to be a little Sunday reset routine. So I figured I'd show you guys kind of what I do to get myself set up for success at the beginning of the week. Usually I'll do some chores, I'll probably go grocery shopping, meal prep, um, things like that. I usually do like a big shower where I do conditioning mask and um, do a really relaxing shower, super long, I shave my legs, I do everything. Um, maybe I'll do a face mask or whatever. I just wanted to show you guys my whole shower routine um, and my reset routine. So I hope that you guys are excited for this video. Go ahead and subscribe down below if you are and let's get into it. So first off, I do want to thank Dossier for actually sending over two of their perfumes for me to try and I will be featuring these in the routine today, but I do just want to thank them for that. So I'm going to show you guys the two perfumes that I chose, um, but first First off, Dossier uh, reproduces some high-end luxury perfumes at a fraction of the price. Usually all of the perfumes are around like 30-ish dollars. Some of the high-end versions are hundreds of dollars. And I've really been trying to get into perfume lately. Um, I usually wasn't one for perfume because I thought that it only meant florals, and that is not correct. So perfumes can have definitely many different um, base notes, top notes, mid notes, anything like that where you can get some without florals in them. So initially I wasn't really a perfume girl, um, but in the past few years I've really been getting into perfumes and my, some of my favorites are like the Ariana Grande perfumes and I have a few from Victoria's Secret, but I never really branched out into big high-end brands. I do actually have a few on my Christmas list already, so it was actually perfect timing for them to reach out to me because I was like, oh, I kind of want to try some of these anyways. So it really worked out but let's get into which scents i got so the first one is floriental brown sugar this is the packaging so it tells you the top notes mid notes and base notes and then the um perfume itself is a clear perfume um also i wanted to mention that the lid is magnetic stop that's so cool so you can put it on like halfway and not really care about it and it'll always close but this is inspired by ysl's mon paris which i have smelled before in sephora and i really enjoy it and i knew that that was one of the ones that's on my list for high-end perfumes so i really wanted to try it uh the top notes are bergamot raspberry and pear middle notes of jasmine orange blossom and brown sugar and base notes of patchouli amber and vanilla so really the only like floral in here is jasmine and that is actually the only floral that i like so um the jasmine intrigued me patchouli is always a scent that i will love and bergamot so i'm gonna spray this on one hand i don't have any perfumes on yet so eee. and i have actually already worn these for a week so but this is a beautiful floral. It's very long lasting. And also if you try these out and you don't like them, they do have a risk-free guarantee. So you can always send it back if you don't enjoy it. That's what I love about them. But this scent is so gorgeous and you really do get a little bit of that orange blossom and brown sugar on the dry down. And I think this is like the perfect intro to floral scents if you're like me and you're like averse to that. So that's the first one I got. Now the second one I think is so cool. I'm pretty sure it's one of their newer ones. They're always adding new scents to their site too. This is Musky Musk. And again, the notes are on there and it's just a clear perfume with the uh, magnetic cap. That's just like so cool to me. So this one is inspired by Juliet Has a Guns, Not a Perfume. And I have been so intrigued by that. It took TikTok by storm. It is viral right now. It's everywhere and it's very revolutionary. So the top notes on this perfume are none. The middle notes are, I don't know how to say this, Cetalox and Iso E Super. Base notes are Habanolide and Musks. So that's it. I'm gonna read the um, website because it has a great uh, description. Musky Musk is the UFO of the world of perfumery. Its construction focuses on a high-tech and high-end synthetic molecule, Cetalox. Clean, pure, musky, slightly woody, hyper-modern, and the smell of Cetalox is unique. 
Musky Musk is a radically disruptive approach of perfumery, offering a scent that mingles with the scent of one's own skin, enhancing it without covering it up. A warning though, Cetalox is a base note. Therefore, this special construction gives an extremely discreet fragrance when applied. The aura of the fragrance develops very gradually to reveal its all its potential after a few hours. So this one's like a revolution in perfume. Um, this one on me, so like they said, right when you spray it on, you're re really not gonna smell too much. Like on initial whiff, it kind of just smells like a little bit like musk, a little bit woody, nothing crazy. But on me, when it wears throughout the day, it really like pops. I don't know how to explain it, but with my skin chemistry, it also turns a little bit sweet. So I just think it's so cool. Even right now, I'm actually getting a little bit of that clean, like almost not quite laundry, but maybe a little mint. Oh, this smells so good. So that one is a really good one. This is also a very subtle perfume. So if you don't like um, super strong perfumes, this one's really good. It's super subtle, but like when you pass somebody on the street, they're going to smell it and be like, ooh, what is she wearing? That's unique. I've never smelled that before. So yes, those are those two that I got. And actually right now on their web website, they're having a Black Friday sale. So definitely hop on it. Um, Everything is, um, I think the two perfumes I got were both 29 and now they're on sale for 21.80. So that's a great deal. I also do have a 10% off code that I will leave in the description box for you guys and you can check it out there. But again, thank you so much to Dossier for uh, sending over these perfumes. And with that, I have to do some chores. So we're gonna go do some laundry, uh, do a grocery pickup and just general like do a little cleaning and then we're gonna hop into the shower. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so starting off, we are doing some laundry. I have a lot of clothes to wash. And you know what, I didn't sort them out beforehand, so here's me sorting them out. Um, I like to usually do like a load of delicates if I have them, or um, darks or whites. So I'm just kind of like separating, making sure I'm not, you know, getting anything uh, mixed up, putting some detergent in there. I'm gonna start that. And then of course, we're doing some new wax today. Um, I actually usually put two, um, two cubes in the other warmer, so don't mind me on that one. It was just because I was filming, I forgot. Um, we're actually gonna replace one of the uh, wallflower fragrance refills in the bathroom. I just noticed that it was empty, so I'm just gonna change it out for a fresh linen. I think the last one in there was like champagne, apple, and honey or something. I like to do fruity or like fresh in the bathroom. And then we're gonna go ahead and make my bed. So I hope you guys like my little leaf garland that I put up there. I did do like a decorate with me for my room for fall earlier in October. So if you wanna look, you wanna check that out, you can um, see that on my channel. But yeah, basically just making my bed. I had that big giant black Kate Spade um, blanket and it is the comfiest thing ever and i love buffalo check so of course i have that in my ray den pumpkin everything pillow um now we're gonna go ahead and head to pick up our grocery pickup order from walmart i am lazy and sometimes i just like to do the pickup instead of having to go in store and pick out everything so here's my order not too much stuff it's just for me and then we gotta set the vibes now that we're back home light a candle this is the huntington homes from aldi woodwick candle and citrus clove um, this is actually the first time I've burned it in the video, but now that of course I'm editing right now It is a really good scent. It's actually pretty strong and then we're gonna go in with pumpkin vanilla creme in the uh, shower and That's gonna be the one going in the background while I shower. This is a really nice scent I do get like kind of the jalapeno chip thing that Bonnie said um, So I do get that in here, but it's still really good so now we're moving on to the shower. Starting off by washing my hair. I love this shampoo scrub from Love Beauty and Planet. Really good. I have some like uh, eczema on my scalp and so that's really helpful for me. And then we're gonna do a hair mask from Ava NYC. I still haven't really decided if I'm in love with this, but it's still pretty good. Um, for shower gel, we're going with white pumpkin and chai. I'm really feeling the pumpkin vibes lately. Um, now that it's about to be Thanksgiving and we're just gonna suds that up, get it going. And then we're going in with the Sunrise Woods Creamy Body Scrub. This is my first time trying out this formula. Um, and I'm putting it on a um, like
like body scrub loofah i love this thing i got it from tj maxx but i know you can find similar ones from eco tools at ulta it's really nice um, and then we're going in with the eos shea butter shave cream in my flamingo razor this is the best combo to shave with i'm telling you right now that eos cream is so good it leaves my skin feeling so soft and this flamingo razor is really great you can buy replacement heads so it's a little more sustainable for the environment so fresh out the shower it is now like 9 p.m or 8 p.m and um, we're gonna do some lotion so we're going in with a white pumpkin and chai keeping it on theme i've been really enjoying this this is last year's scent but um i saved it because i thought they wouldn't come out with it again this year and they did which i'm really happy about but still um i definitely could have finished this up last year but that's okay so We're gonna go in with our spray white pumpkin and chai again um i'm not gonna do too much because i'm literally about to go to bed but it smells good too and by the way you always have to be careful when putting spray on like freshly shaved skin make sure you put your lotion down first so it covers up the pores and you don't get alcohol straighten your pores okay people because it will hurt same thing with salt water if you're going out on the beach and you just shaved make sure you put on lotion first or sunscreen or something on top of your skin so when the sea salt gets in your skin it's not gonna burn pro tip okay and then finally we are gonna go with musky musk even though i'm about to go to bed <laughs> um i feel like it's gonna be nice to wake up to this scent having um warmed up to my body usually i'll actually put on um body oil before i put on my lotion but i feel like it's gonna make me really sticky it's kind of warm tonight so i don't really want to like be sticky still while i go to bed so yes that's that um i think i'm going to uh put some curly hair product in my hair and then i will call it a night all right so starting off the hair we're going with the living proof dry scalp scalp care serum um, like I said earlier, I have an itchy dry scalp, so this has honestly helped me so much. If you struggle with that too, um, I would definitely recommend this product. And then I'm going with the AG uh, Hair Care Fast Food like Leave-In Treatment. I use this every single time after I shower, even if I'm not doing curly hair. And then this is just an oil that I had left over from like a long time ago, so I don't recommend it. But um, then my curl cream, of course, we do like a gel first. That's what I do. That's my style for my curly hair. And then I go in with the Herbal Essence Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. Say that five times fast. But I am totally committed to this one for life. I love that mousse. It's so good. Okay. Well, we're gonna let the hair air dry overnight. But that was my whole um, Sunday routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I just wanted to do something really chillaxed, show you guys kind of my typical routine on the weekends, getting ready for Monday. It's really just like a mental prep game, like slowing down my brain from um, doing a bunch of stuff on the weekend to kind of getting into the focus zone and getting relaxed and getting ready. Um, usually I'll like make my grocery list and stuff, which I went and got groceries today. Um, I might do a bit of meal prepping sometimes on Sundays. Uh, I might also start on like my to-do list for the week. But um, today we just chilled, went and got groceries, showered, and that's it. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what is a must that you have to do on Sundays. Do you guys usually like clean on Sundays? Do you usually go grocery shopping like me? Like what's your usual Sunday routine? I'd love to know it down below. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.